All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Moffa Project. And today I want to uh, start with drawing the uh, trees. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I hope uh, everybody is going to be having a blast while watching me just drawing textures all over this place. And um, let's hope that we can get it all done so that we can start tomorrow with the coloring of it. That would be a lovely, a lovely idea. All right. Um, view layer full mode, and we can start. All right. Now we just need to fi figure out where it is. There it is. Good. And we can start with the drawing. Oh, almost forgot. There you go. Yes. So um. 3.6. Oh, I'm not doing this the right way. Should definitely add it like this and then, you know, do this. There you go. And this one needs to be coming like this. Alright. Like that. And uh I should definitely add some more here. Like this and then move this bit. Um, let's see. That would be good. Then we're gonna make sure that we have this a little bit lowered so we can see stuff instead of not seeing it at all. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. This one I need to do, right? Yeah. Need this to be a little bit less, less, yeah, there you go. That should fix it. Alright, now we can actually see what we need to do. So first things first, we need to make sure that we have some bits, nooks and crannies for the tree itself. And then once we're done with that, we can actually implement the uh, lines that will function as our next point of view. Alright. Uh, today I actually was cooking today, but uh, it didn't feel well. It was not the taste I wanted. So I should definitely add some more stuff towards it. Maybe have some soup before. And less food, because... Oh, Apparently, you know, buying food that was almost going out of date was not a very smart move. It was very cheap, but it was not the smartest move ever at all. It does create a, st a strong stomach, it's just painful, uh, at least, doing that. Um, I will add this into a group and then I will merge it all together afterwards. That would be a smart move here. Yes, and now we need to grab, and now we need to create the line for it. I believe we need to do that. Yeah, yeah, we need to do it like that. Yes, All right, good. So as you can see, I'm trying to create this texture of, you know, tree-like appearance, which, you know, implements that we are creating a tree look, not texture. And that's what we're doing. 
because if we don't do this like that, uh, when we add in the colors, then well, things won't look nice, which is the main problem here. Just like that. And then we can add in some bit more detail here. A bit more detail there. Yeah. There you go. We can add some stuff here in that nooks and crannies that will give us the upper hand when we're drawing in the texture as well. Drawing in the colors, that is. <laughs> now, the big thing that we need to do is actually add, um, build this upwards towards here. So we need to. Build it up, 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 and then we can call it like there. And then we then need to do it again here. Oh, I was busy drawing the leaves, wasn't I? Yeah. Let's do it in first the tree a bit, and then, you know, uh, tomorrow we will do the leaves again. Um, so sorry, I was a little bit out of uh, move there. Oh well. It happens, you know, when you realize that you have... I had, like, a long weekend, which was great. Lots of things I did. I played some uh, Into the Breach, which was great. That tabletop game is actually quite fun to play around with. Lots of shenanigans you can pull off. It's just that a lot of it is actually quite not balanced at all. That's why you need to have a good... A good narrative uh, person to make sure that you don't break the goddamn world. All right, um, just like that, we can go here. like that. Mm, here's a good place to go for a big one. Big luggy bit of a, a boy. There you go. Now we can get this bit up running. Luckily for me, this is actually one of the most easiest things to do. Yeah. Luckily for me, this is one of the easiest things to do because of the amount of... Uh, well, you know. Forgetting that we are doing the leaf bit. Which is not too bad. 
you know, to leave a bit, we can still do afterwards, you know, tomorrow and then, you know, finish it up. But I think, you know, building up the tree a bit is also a smart move. So nothing here is going to waste. That's why I'm putting it into a, into a, you know, for certainty. Into a map. Which means we don't get screwed over. Because we don't want that to happen indefinitely. All right. We can now look at this. Oh man, this looks lovely. Oh, hmm, yes. All right, good. That looks great. Just like that. And we're already 40 minutes in. Nice.
good. Now continue with this one. Oh man, now the more we do this, the better it gets, so that's good, it's great. The funny thing is, if we add in the colors, this will actually make even more sense, and then the things will look a lot more better than what we have now, which is really nice. Uh, let's go this way. And let's see. So the amount of the amount of textures that need to be drawn in here is not too much. It does require a lot of you know nice little ups and downs. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Editing those in is very important because if we add in the little scripts and we then add in the color of it, it will give uh, ourselves a little bit more of a better feeling of, you know, we're going to get the same idea with this and then there as well. So that's always good.
the only downside now is that we need to make sure that we are getting that. And that is always take a lot of time and effort because of all the amount of stuff that is going on here. Luckily, you know, it is quite easy to handle. Because as you can see, yeah, this tree looks nice. This looks like a this looks like a formable tree. And then we just need to have the tree the tree leaves being there and then you know put it all in there. Yes, 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 yes. And once we have the other trees also done, we can call it a day, which is good. And the big question is like, what I'm going to do with the background. Um, I think I will go for something like, you know, a very vague background and then, you know, put some shininess into it. And some nice little stream water stream or something like that, maybe. Yeah, maybe that would be good. But yeah, at least I need to figure out like what I'm how I'm gonna do that, but that's all later. Right now I need to focus on the leaves and the trees and all that stuff. And well, you know, I forgot that I actually had to focus on the leaves, but that is just merely a little bit of an issue, you know, and it doesn't hurt, you know, doing the tree a bit first, because technically, you know, the tree needs to be done until here, and so that, you know, this is going to be still, this is not going to be viable for this, you know, it's, it's both two different things, and, well, once the leaves are there, eh, it doesn't matter that much, at least. So, yeah. All right.
There we go. Almost there. And we're almost at halfway through the halfway through the time already, aren't we? Yeah, twenty-five. Yeah, that's actually quite good. I expected a little bit less, but no. Yeah. Twenty-five minutes for just drawing one tree, that is not bad at all. And then that we have done and now that we have drawn this tree bit, we can then, you know, focus on ourselves on the uh, leaf bit then afterwards. That's nice. Also, the amount of, uh, um, also my hand is already very tired from, you know, drawing the texture all the time. So yeah, I should definitely get, uh, get this one finished up and then, you know, go to the leaves. Because it's a different way of doing it, which is nice. A different position in the hands is always good. Tomorrow I will definitely get some yogurt. Buying it at the local supermarket because I want to test something out if uh, fresh uh, pineapple actually works well with yogurt. Probably it will, but you know, you never know. And we can actually get this one with the original pencil, right? Can do this with this one, right? I hope. Yes, we can now. Nice. It's a very rough way of doing it, but it should be fine. And why is the green on there? As well as I explained the, the last time, I just want to make sure that I'm not drawing it too lightly. Which is the main problem most of the time. And I want this to be here, and then I want this to be here, and now I want to get. There you go. Now we need to get this one. Now put it this way, because we're changing directions. All right, sweet. And now we need to get uh, this bit up and done, this bit up and done. We should be able to get this one done. Because if this if this bit is done, then we can, you know, add in the colors of that uh, leaves as well. It's just, you know, we went with the wrong bit. So we did not focus on the leaves. Well, it happens, you know, when you're it, it is Monday after all. Yeah, it happens. If you um, forget something because, well, you know, you had too much fun doing stuff, then, uh, yeah, definitely happens. When I went, went home yesterday, actually, it was actually quite funny to see that um, it was already, like, 
uh, nine o'clock and it was already pitch black. It was amazing. You know, seeing that night can actually change quite well here. I always am very surprised because last time I went to a place where the night was not very dark. It was very strange, honestly. Um, I went like into Iceland and there the night was actually what uh, six o'clock night time at one o'clock, so it was not very dark at all. And the feeling of not having any darkness around you, it's uh, very strange. It's a very strange and unique eff uh, effect, that's for sure. Alright, I want... Here I want something, and here I want something. And why I'm doing it like that? Why do I... Why am I doing the rough... Uh, why am I doing the rough bit? Because this actually gives me a better handling upon, you know, making it unique. Oh, look, looks like I need to chip my nails as well. Oops, forgot about that. Doing the chipping of the nails. It's always a thing that needs to be done anyway. But yeah, it's very important to do the chipping of the nails so that you don't press any uh, accidental buttons on the pencil, like this one, which is a pain in the ass if it changes color. Not right now, it's not that problematic, because, you know, we're still using the black color, but once we're getting to the point where we need to have exactly the right colors, then, well, it really sucks. All right. So how is it going with my fa uh, How is it going with the, gr with the ability to just summon in lots and lots of texture? Let's see. Looks fine to me. Honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not. It's not bad. It's not good. It's decent. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So once, as long as we continue doing the thing that we needed to do, it should be all fine. Just irregular amount of you know, coloring in irregular amount of uh, leaves, and then you know, continue with that. Just like that. All right, 30 minutes in, good. That means that we might even, evil, e, e, ah, we might be even able to finish it before the 50 minutes comes around, which would be great. But yeah, having uh, stomach cramps is not a very healthy idea of having good food. So uh, yeah, note yourself, don't don't buy the food that is cheap on the chips because holy shit, it is actually quite bad. It's not as bad as I think it would be, but ugh, that food was not. And I even cooked it quite long. I uh, I cooked it for like an hour, so it should be fine. But apparently, it was not fine at all. It's very, uh, it's very, it's like, you know, somebody stabs you in the chest for multiple times. Like every, every single time you make a, every single time you bow over, you get, you get stabbed. So, that's what the feeling is. It's uh, very problematic. Well, it's not too problematic, but it is very annoying. Let's put it that way. So, technically not problematic at all. But... And then we are going this way.
There we go. Now we need to get here, and that should be fine. So, what do we now need? We need to get this one that way, that way. Yes, 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 yes. So we definitely should aim for this bit. And the fun thing is, this is technically the, this is technically the leaf kind of feeling towards it this is the and this is the and this is the bird wing kind of feeling towards it so yeah it's a, it's close but the main thing is that i'm using sharp turns and hooks and knocks and crannies nearby which changes it up into make it look like a bush and the red and black spots also works quite well dark spots there i mean uh let's see yeah, we need to be in there. Done this. Alright. Nice. And this way. And we're almost there. It just takes a lot of time. Because we need to fill it all up. And that's the main problem. Filling it up needs to be irregular. So every single thing needs to be a little bit changing up. But it all needs to be going this way. So it needs to go like a, like this way. It needs to be going like boop 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 boop. Like that. And we cannot have any irresponsible, uh, we cannot have any side tracking of that. That's the main problem. So here needs to be one, and here needs to be one, and then we can now move to. There you go. And then this way. See, 40 minutes, nice. It's getting steadily done, which is good. Don't want to be having this a little bit of an issue. Neither do I want to have, you know, all of this to be done. Mm. 
But as I said before, we need to make sure that we don't have like a standardization on the texture. So we don't want to have, uh, we want to make this irregular looking, the, the, the leaves, we want to make it irregular looking because of them. Ah, dang. We just want to make it look strange and then uh, therefore, you know, the variety in the texture causes the eye to focus on it and then, you know, doesn't feel like it is, uh, it is, you know, all the same. Which is good. It must be looking interesting, but it doesn't need to be looking too uninteresting. So it's, it all, it all needs to be, it all needs to be done, but... Uh, and also the texture does make the leaves look a little bit more standing out, which is nice. Now let's continue here. All right, work, and just get this one up and running. There you go. There we go. And now we're going to go here, and that should fix it. Nice. All right. Now we need to get this up and running. Ugh. My hands. It's a little bit of a pain, but not 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 too much. We're almost there anyway. We're almost at the finish line, which is nice because technically, you know, that is technically a very hard thing to do. Getting to a finish line is one of the most hardest things in most cases. Um, the tree, uh, yes, this bit needs to be also drawn in. There we go. And now if we take a look already, yeah, that, that looks like a decent, that looks like a, like a decent goddamn leaf, uh, goddamn bush of uh, uh, leaves for the top part. Nice. Alright. We're gonna go this way. So now we're gonna go 
this way and now we need to figure out like where do we uh where do we put the the bit that needs to be done um i think we're gonna go like this oh that's not good um never mind then uh let's go here first Yes, there are some issues here, definitely, but we can get around that by implementing this right here. Yes, all right. Then go upwards. And that should be it fine. Just like that. And voila, we fixed that bit, nice. It might look like little scratches, which they are, but those scratches actually form the texture, which is nice, as always. Uh, I'm a little bit out of short of cable, but it should be fine. I forgot that I have my telephone is a little bit short. My head telephone is a little bit shorter than normal because of the modification, but it should be fine because now actually I have a better mic, which I didn't have two, three days ago. I believe, yeah, yeah. the The mic, I the mic from the other headphone was absolutely trash. It it totally was not a good one. The main issue that I always had with that thing is that it is such a it was not as clear and that was the main issue it was not clear so if even if i even if i lowered the mic i could not uh and the for the life of me it was not clear enough so that was the main problem if i look at for instance the mic that i have here which is not yet connected but could be connected don't worry about that but could be connected is a bit it's a big chunky mic but that mic would actually work. That mic would actually work. It's the Yeti one. I believe that's the one. That's how it's called. Mm. Oh. I don't need a eraser. I need my pencil back. Thank you. All right, let's continue. There you go, and, and this should work. This should work, I hope. All right. All right, and then this is going to be fun. There you go. And that's how it should be done then, right? Yeah, that is how you do it. Because if we now look into this, yes. Uh, we could technically add a bit more to it. Yeah, 
we could we could definitely add some more here to it but first we want to make sure that we have this one up and running Now we have this, and now we need to figure out, like, do I want to continue? Well, it's a little bit too tiny, actually. So, yeah, we're going to continue with the, the, the thing. We're going to just add up more. We're just going to make a big one. I'm going to fill this all up. There you go. Now we have a big tree. With lots of things. So yeah, uh, let's see. Boop, bitty, boop. I'm gonna save this bad boy. It's now already one three point one. Damn, it's already getting bigger again. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, what we did today? We actually finished. Uh, well, we we got uh, we got um, these things here, which is the tree trunk bit. Allow me to make it a little bit more clearer. That way we can see better what how how this is gonna be turning out. Nice, that looks that looks so good. I love it. 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 All right. So this is a tree trunk. So this tree trunk goes then up here towards the towards the leaves. So it's gonna be going upward upwards towards the leaves, and then once that is done, uh, we have the first tree done. And then it's gonna be add, and then it's gonna be shade and uh, shade and colored like that, like the rest of it. Um, and then afterwards we can continue drawing the next one. So then we're gonna draw in these fools. This one right here, this one right there, and this one right there, and add those in as well. And what does this do? Well, this does create more of a depth towards it, and then we only need to. Do some little bit of particle effect probably in the background and then it is all handy dandy done. Yeah. I think that's the thing. Well, uh it's already fifty minutes in, so I will call it a day for today. And my hand is way to getting a little bit iffy because oh that was a little bit of too much of a damage detail in one go. But yeah. I hope you'll have enjoyed for today. And uh, thanks all for watching, and I hope we'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you a lovely day, and uh, bye!